Hey Deckers, Cyberpunk 2077 got a massive patch giving FSR 3 and frame generation support in game and also on the Steam Deck. So have a quick look at these images and see if you can spot which one is running frame gen and which is the previous patch. Now three of these are different configurations using FSR 3 and we will compare it against the 2.12 patch which I recorded some footage recently, so I'll try to replicate it across all of the ones here. Regardless of the settings though, one side effect of the new 2.13 update is the load times have massively improved. You can get from start menu into game in just 16 seconds now, and it is massively noticeable when transitioning sections and also just loading up the game to begin with. So onto the kind of previous patch, I'm gonna spend a lot of time in Dogtown as this is where things perform quite a lot worse for the rest of the game. And I will show you some normal gameplay towards the end. But as you can see, FSR 2.1 balance, really struggling to hold 30 frames per second in the previous patch. And if we go for FSR 3 quality with frame generation and medium graphic settings, you'll notice that we pretty much get around the same performance as we did on FSR balanced on kind of low to medium settings previously. Now, frame generation really struggles in Dogtown and I'm not going to be recommending it much, but outside of it, it does work well. Even with low settings with FSR 3, trying to push native to get that quality, even with the low graphic settings, it really does still struggle a lot of sections, especially when we get some load areas. It's really not a great way to play. But if we play with the FSR 3 with no frame generation, it does dip a little bit more under that 30 frames per second, but it doesn't feel as bad as it did with the FSR 2.1, and it does look much cleaner. If we put the 2.1 balanced versus the FSR 3, you really start to see that frame jitter from the frame generation. So although these frame second look better, it really doesn't perform as smoothly. And again, if we put the low version with next to each other, we don't see that frame stutter as much, but we do see a much cleaner image. Now there seems to be a bit of a bug with some of the missions that has been introduced with this patch. In the 2.1 version, I could get on the bike to get the missions for picking up random vehicles. And when I was on the phone, there was no issue. However, since this patch, whether it's a bike or a car, if you're in one of these cars, when you get the call from El Capitan, then the frame generation just goes absolutely mental. And you can see that it goes to an absolute brawl. Weirdly, the fix though is to just get out of the vehicle and back in again. That seems to fix it, but if you do get another call while you're driving, then it does seem to go to hell again, and you'll have to stop and get out and back in again. So if you do come across that, at least you know you can just get out and back in and it'll be okay. But otherwise, it can be a bit of a pain. Now with the FSR 3 frame generation and medium, if you're moving around without a vehicle, it doesn't look too bad on the frames per second front, but the quality even though it should be medium settings with FSR 3, it really doesn't look very nice. I'm a stickler, especially in this game, for having the clarity, and I have major problems with the way FSR works and really puts a fuzziness on the world, so it will be a bit of a preference, but I really haven't got on well with the FSR 3 implementations in this one. As you can see, with 2.1 balance outside in the world, we were getting a good 30 to 40 frames per second previously, very happily without major issues. And it didn't look too bad, even with that balance, although we do get quite a lot of FSR fuzziness around on that one. Now, if we use FSR 3 with the native with frame generation outside of Dogtown, it really does look absolutely epic. I can't begin to tell you how much better FSR 3 native looks, even with the low graphics preset over even medium. FSR 2 or 3 quality, it doesn't really matter. The FSR 3 native just looks absolutely fantastic with or without frame generation. You can get away with that frame generation when you're out and about outside of Dogtown, but only really with those low graphic settings. If you push it any higher, it really does have problems. My actual recommendation is to not use frame generation as much as you can in Cyberpunk, but if you do want to use it, make sure you're using it in the outside world. But otherwise, have it on the low preset FSR 3 quality mode when you're in Dogtown, or just keep it at native when you're not. At the end of the day, it's a matter of preference though, and you're gonna have to fiddle until you've got something that you're happy with, and how blurry you're happy to have your screen. 
Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving back into Cyberpunk 2077 thanks to these patches in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.